Hi guys, uh, so for my fish humanoid, I need a very small armature. This is going to be a figure uh, based on 28 millimeter scales, so I need it to be small. So I take a 20 gauge wire, like the ones you find at Walmart in the necklace making section, and I bend the wire in half, like you see here with my pliers. And this is going to form the legs and the hip. So once I have my uh, wire bent in half, I uh, take it and uh, measure the wire against a 28 millimeter uh, Deep Wars figure that I'm going to be basing the scale off. So by doing this, I can measure exactly where I want to bend the wires. And so once I take my measurements by eye, I go ahead and bend the wires like you see here. The tips near my fingers are where the base of the feet are going to be. And so here I begin to form my legs. Uh, this is where the hip will connect to the legs. So I'm actually forming the hip here. Here's another view of that. So those are the legs and I'm holding uh, where the head would be. So now, once I have my legs bent to an approximate shape that I want, I take another piece of 20 gauge wire and attach it to the uh, body section. And for attaching it, I use a uh, floral wire, wrap it all around and make sure that the arms are nice and tight. And I, then I form the shoulders. And here is a view of the armature with the uh, arm wire. And you can kind of see the neck right above the shoulders. And then I begin to attach my miniature armature to a uh, paint cap. And that's what I use as a handle for sculpting. This is a very important step. And so I, I take the, the wire is much longer uh, than it should be for the legs. So I just... Uh, push it through the cap, through some holes that I make in the cap, and then clip off the excess wire, and then I simply bend the wire underneath the cap to anchor it uh, to the cap. And I use green stuff, a uh, little bits of green stuff, to make sure that the arms are well in place, and to secure the uh, actual figure to the cap, I also use green stuff and you can see it here and the green stuff acts as a base and I let this dry completely. So now I can begin sculpting and now that everything is secure my fish like creature is beginning to take form. I sculpt with very small amounts of green stuff. A uh, little figure like this uh, takes me about 13 hours to do. Again, it's working with very small amounts of green stuff. Okay, and here is what I have so far uh, for this strange fish-like creature. Uh, there's the dorsal fin in the back. Um, we got a lot of uh, details that I worked on. There's this uh, thick belt here. I might do something else with that, add a little more detail, make it look like more like a belt. Um, and then uh, if we look at it, you can see there's there's this little fish head here, a little head there. And I'm going to continue to shape that a little bit. Hopefully that'll be uh, come apparent when I paint it. And he has a bunch of irregular scales. Uh, the fish head is... From a lionfish, that's what I got inspiration uh, to uh, make the head, is, is the head of a lionfish. So it's very squarish, all right, and it has that grumpy looking uh, fish look to it. And then little barbels here, little barbs, right uh, below the uh, mouth area there, and then a couple of barbs here above the eyes. Um, and basically that's it. And then it has like a very organic looking uh, weapon, you know, which I have to fix. I'm going to be working a little bit more on that weapon. I want to fix this area a little bit. Um, and then he has this lobster claw here. So, uh, you know, in Deep Wars, you have a lot of uh, strange biomancy. And I think that's why this would go well in Deep Wars or Shadow Sea even. Um, 
But this figure could actually actually work well as a demon. Uh, maybe a demon from some kind of abyssal world that mimics, you know, the deep ocean or something. A, an abyssal plane, right? So this could be a demon in a demon army uh, for Dragon Rampant or something. So there's a lot of uses for strange figures like this. Um, now I'm going to finish this up. This is almost finished. I have to add a few spines and a couple of other details. Fix the belt a little bit. Maybe add some seaweed coming out of here as ornament right and then the base has a little rock and i'm going to add a couple of little uh maybe sponges or something there tube sponges and then he gets mounted on this base that i have an old old uh hero hero quest i forget the name of that game but anyway uh that base is going to serve as the base for this figure and i still got a little bit of work and fixing to do um <clears throat> but he's pretty much finished took about 13 14 hours to complete believe it or not and here's a sense of scale here's a deep wars model right the fish like beings of deep wars and here is a deep wars diver so yeah he's, he's small he's pretty small he's good good size not small, not big, good size, and and uh, there we go. So this is the third creature figure in my Deep Wars sculpting project. Fish dude, weird looking fish dude. Thank you guys.